Well, hello, NC family. We pray this message finds you well. Well, we have just come through the crossover deadline at the North Carolina General Assembly, which is a date where bills that don't have tax or budget implications have to cross over from one chamber to the other to remain eligible for the remainder of the two-year legislative biennium. There is always a frenzy of activity during crossover as state lawmakers review, debate, and vote on hundreds of bills, and this year was certainly no exception. Last week, the State House passed a bill that would prohibit abortion in North Carolina if the physician determines that the mother is seeking an abortion because of the race or sex of the unborn child or due to a diagnosis of Down syndrome. We're very encouraged that this bill passed the House on a bipartisan vote, which signals that if the bill passes the Senate, the votes may exist to override a potential veto by Governor Roy Cooper. And this past Tuesday, the State Senate once again passed the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. This bill requires any healthcare practitioner who is present to administer care to a baby who survives a failed abortion attempt, and then to ensure that the newborn is transported to a nearby hospital for further care. As you may recall, a nearly identical bill was ratified by the General Assembly in 2019, but was then vetoed by Governor Cooper and it ultimately failed to become law. Jerry Royal, NC Family's legal counsel, and I had the opportunity to testify in support of both of these bills on multiple occasions as they made their way through the House and the Senate during crossover. And we pray earnestly that both of these bills will continue to see action and will be enacted into law to protect the lives of these precious unborn and newborn babies. In addition, we worked with bill sponsors to tighten up language in a telemedicine bill to make sure it remains illegal in North Carolina to prescribe the abortion drug RU486 over the internet. Jerry also testified against a bill in a House committee that would have abolished the civil action of criminal conversation, which allows an aggrieved spouse to sue a third party for committing adultery with their husband or wife. Fortunately, this bill was defeated on a razor-thin tie vote in the committee. And in just the last few days, we have also supported other bills that would crack down on illegal video sweepstakes gambling, that would make positive changes to the state's foster care system, and that would make common sense amendments to the state's marriage laws in order to address concerns about forced teen marriages and human trafficking. Of course, there is a lot of information about many of these bills on our website at ncfamily.org. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us by using the Contact Us page on our website at ncfamily.org, by phone or by email. And please be sure to watch your email inbox for upcoming issue alerts and calls to action. Finally, we want to thank you for your prayers, for your partnership, and for your support. We absolutely cannot do all that we do without you. If you would like to support our work financially, you can also make a secure online donation by clicking the Donate button on our website. Again, thanks so much and have a great weekend.